Hello, how are you doing everybody? Uh, I'm glad that I have the opportunity to make this video so I can help at least, if I can help one person learn something, I'll be more than happy. I'm having so much trouble learning. I'm just clicking and clicking everywhere and asking questions and everybody seems to pretty much assume that I already should know. So when I ask a question, uh, they answer and they're very nice, you know, they answer, but they answer in a way that something that makes sense for them, but to me, it just, I don't get it. So my goal in doing these videos is to make things, everything really, really clear for really beginners, so you really understand how everything works. So anyway, thanks for watching this video, and I'll show you really quick how this works. Uh, we have everything here. This is the app. So the first thing I'm going to change is right here uh, that says the cat say hi. Instead of say, it should say says right here. The cat say hi. So right here you have the text. Display new text. I'm just going to go there and add a little S. Save. And that's it. Okay. Once I change that, it was a little mistake that I did the first time. I'm going to show you the whole code. This is the whole code right here. Okay, so you can pause the video right there and copy everything and then from line 44 right here and then just go to the next part and from line 44 you continue with all this. So that's the whole code. So now I explain everything what it does really quick. The first thing that I have here is hi, the status bar and you have this line of code to hide that bar right here display that set status bar and display hidden status bar so this will hidden uh, will hide the status bar that you see here with the battery now the main thing goes for the sound right here in this area the sound okay uh, the meow music when the cat says hi and says meow and the little piano that's what you have here so you get uh, the meow sound, audio, and you're loading that sound. This is the meow sound. And you have title, display new text, and the text is right here. This is the text, and you're sending it to these colors. This, 0, 225, 225, and 0 is for the color yellow. If you change this 0, it will be the red. So whatever you change in here, it will change the color of this text because this text, the big one, which is 24 right here, this is the size, and will change that. So I'm just gonna go back and put it to 225, and that's it. And the X and the Y is just telling you the position. So if I change this instead of 160, I put it maybe, I don't know, 200, then it will change it to the X position, so we'll change the vertical, uh, I mean the horizontal value. So this will go back to 160, that's it. So then the other, the other text that we have here is the subtitle, and this is please touch the sun, right here, please touch the sun, and you have the size 18. And this is the position, the original position for that text, and this is the font that is using. And then same thing here, you change the color, and this you change the distance, like 420. Instead of 420, I'm just gonna put 100. Look what happened. See, it goes all the way up. So I'm just gonna put it back to 420, and that's how you change where you want to set your text. Now, one important thing that when you start the app right here, uh, if you notice when you tap on the sun, the text goes away. Watch, see? It goes away. So what you do that, you have the text right here. This is the sound and this is the text. So when you go down here and you're saying right here, display image uh, and remove self right here, text right there. Title, remove self. Subtitle, remove self. So you're adding these two lines inside of this function. Okay, and I'll show you how you can explain how you can get this function working. But those hiding this text, you have this line right here. Title, remove. And subtitle, remove. 
So this is pretty much, they will just go away. Now you have title and subtitle right here. This is the name, title and subtitle. So you're adding those two names in here and make them disappear. So the next part we have, we already explained this, and then we go to this. All this, pretty much from here to here, is all this. This is what you have, all this, the sky, the trees, the rock, the grass, the cat, the letter, all the hills in the back, all these images are here. So if you see here, the sky, hills, rock, grass, tree, and, you know, I have the same image, but then one of this is a scale, and then a cat and height. So all this, all I'm saying is local, creating a variable, and then you name the sky, and then display new image, you put the name of the file, PNG, and then you set the X and the Y where you want that image to start, and then the scale. And this is a scale because if the image is too big, you want to scale it down a little bit smaller. And that's it, you do the same thing with all the images. And you place that image right here, the sky, 170, and two, minus 270. This is the position where you start, okay, the sky image. But when you go here to the function, this is what makes the animation. The function, it says, okay, the sky, right here, sky, is starting on X, 170, and Y, 100. If you see this value, 170 and 100, is different than this value right here, 170 and 270, minus 270. So this difference is what makes the animation. So let me explain how that works. If you set this value right here, 100, Y, okay, Y is 100. You go to Y on the sky and you put 100 right here what happened save and the sky is right there see when you start the animation when you start the game the sky is already there so there's no animation because this picture this image of the sky is already there so you want to set this this is your final final position so you're going from one place let's say you have this image you have it up here on top so nobody can see it so your final position will be going down to put it to 100. So you set your final position here, 100, on the Y. But then you go here and you say, I don't want it to be 100. I want it to be 1. So now it's going up. Okay, I want it more because I don't want to see it. So minus uh, 50. Say, no, I want it to hide that image. So you go minus 100. Yeah, no, because remember, it's taking the position from the center of the image. So the whole image is from here all the way up to here, up there, and the center is somewhere in here. So you say, no, I don't want that. So maybe 200. Eh, I still can see a little bit of there. So I'm just going to put 220 or 2, whatever. There we go. See, that's it. Once you hide that image, then you don't see it. So when you click on the button, right here on the sun, it will take you to this 100 on the Y. And you do the same thing with each image. You place the image in a different place outside the view, outside this view, and then you say in the function right here where you want your final image to be or to land. It's going to be from this place outside going inside. So that's it, that's what it does with each of these images. And then at the end, all you have to do is create a button right here, button sun, the sun will be the button, and you just display the image. So the image is a sun, and you can put any image you want here for that little one. And then you set it where you want the sun to be. I want it right there, so if you don't want it right there, 76, you can put it 100, and look, the sun will change, there you go. So you just put the sound wherever you want, and then that's it. You create the function. The function is having the name of the button, same name, and you create that function. It's a tap event, and you end it right here, okay? And then button, add event listener. You add this listener to 
make the function work. If you don't really understand all this function and all this, I'm just going like really quick. Uh, if you don't get it, please watch uh, the video that I have here, uh, Color My World, that I go in a little bit more details about functions and creating functions. So if you don't really get it, please watch that one. And that's pretty much what it is. You create the button right here and with the same name. And when you tap in the sun, it will make this function work. And inside of this function, you have all the transitions to each image for the cat, the tree small, the high, the big, grass, rocks, all the images. And you set here the where you want the X and the Y to be. And then each of them has a different uh, value in time. These are in, uh, in seconds or milliseconds. So 4,000 would be 4 seconds. So then you, it takes 4 seconds for the image of the grass to go from grass to go from this distance from the X and the Y from that point to this point right here. So that's how it works and when you go here and play the button it creates the animation and plays the music at the same time. That's it. So I hope you enjoy this and uh, mostly that you enjoy it i hope that you understand it and you really understand how to move these images and make them work if you don't please send me an email uh tell me something that you can find me uh my email is hello world 2013d at gmail.com okay if you don't understand my english i'll just type it right here That's it. That's my email. If you don't understand something, please let me know. My goal is trying to uh, help and share what I'm learning because I'm having so much trouble learning that, you know, I wish I could find videos like these ones that I'm doing somewhere else with topics and questions that I have on my own. So please help me out. You know, I'm trying to learn also just like you. I'm just gonna go to my website right here and I'm gonna show you something really quick. I have this tutorial. If you go to my questions in the same website, xyapps.com, you'll see all the questions that I have right here. A lot of questions. And you know, how to make a button play a sound. This one, I got it already. I just show you. Okay, that one I got it. So I'm just gonna go through these questions and some of these I already learned. And whatever I learn, I'm gonna share it with you so you can learn also, okay? So thanks for watching and I hope you learned something from this video.